What up, Jonesies? Happy Saturdays. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you woke up in good spirits and in good health. Okay? Because somebody out there didn't have the privilege that you have of waking up this morning. You know? So, <clears throat> I just want to come in with a little bit of, you know, chit-chat. You know, just to see how you guys are doing, what's going, what's going on with you guys, which I have going on. And that, can you believe that next week is Thanksgiving and we are almost at the end of 2019? Can you really, be, can you like believe that? It seemed like November came in so quick. I mean, it came in quicker than October. November, it just seemed like yesterday was November 1st and now we almost at the end of November. Time is moving fast. It's not waiting for nobody, honey. Time is moving. Either you're gonna get with it or you're gonna get lost in the sauce, baby. But um it just makes me reflect. You know, sometimes every year I do this, I reflect on the past year, like, oh my god, like what could I have done different last year that I could do different this year coming? You know, I always Try to take a little bit of piece of knowledge with me and move forward and try to treat and try to change things. And sometimes when you do things like that, you better yourself. It's all about bettering yourself. Um, it's all about growth. You can't be on the same on the same level as you was last year. You have to step it up a little bit. You get what I'm saying? And I feel as if um we have a platform. Now, I wish I had a huge platform because I could reach more people. But I'm thankful for the pe people that I could reach, whether they're on my channel or not. But I just feel like sometimes people that have a huge platform, they don't use it properly. Like, you could use your platform for whatever. But to get a message out, you can do so many things and people will hear you. You know what I'm saying? You can say so much and people will hear you. I feel like we I feel like as being smaller, I get heard, but not as much. But when you have a huge platform, you it's like you can get the wheels turning a little bit more. You feel what I'm saying? So it is what it is. You know, at one point everybody was at the hype of trying to go viral. People that go viral don't try. You know what I'm saying? It just happens. You could just the least expected thing could have you you could do the least expected thing and you can go viral. So going viral is not something that you plan to do. It just happens. Anything can go viral. You know? Um people are trying to compete. You know, don't use this platform to compete with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Don't use this as a, a form of competition. Just grow. Get to know different people. Don't stay in this one community. If you got a different interest in something else, go out and look at it. You know, some people like to do are going into more of a DIY type of situation, you know, type of community because they done did hauls, they done did crafting, they done did this, they done did that. So now they want to try something else. And me, I'm a type of person that I, I, I can't be stuck to one thing. I got to keep it moving because if I don't, I get bored. You know, doing hauls is fine. But I can't do hauls all my life. <laughs> I'm just not. There's other things that I would love to chit chat about. So you guys, you know, I'm a middle aged. I'm 45 years old. I'm not going on 46. I experienced a lot. There are things that I I can talk to you about. Like you know, I have natural hair. I might start talking about my natural hair more. What I use for my natural hair. What I use for my skin, which is the minimum. Okay. And people are like, well, your skin seems so nice and well. I use the minimum, you know, as for my hair, I use the products my mother used for my hair. You know, you can go out there and try different things. What works for you may not work for others because guess what? We're not made for everybody. Some people may like us. Some may not like us, but don't ever sell yourself short. Don't ever come on a platform trying to be someone else because you know why? You got to keep that up. You got to keep it up and then you're going to get tired of doing it. And then when you let the real you come out, nobody's not going to want it. So I always say, be <laughs> who you are up front from the jump. Be who you are. Stick to that. If nobody wants to get to know you, that's okay because a few will. You get what I'm saying? But a lot of folks 
whether it's on social media or off social media and in real life, people have this disease to please. I don't have that. My mother taught me a long time ago, the only person you have to please is yourself. You have to make sure whatever you do in life is right. It feels good to you and everything else will fall in line. So if I can take a little bit of that knowledge and pass it on to you guys, why not? You know, my mother and my grandmother, my aunts, my uncles, they taught me a lot of stuff at a very young age. And I'm thankful for that because it made me who the person I am now. I may seem cold sometimes or I may sound, you know, nice sometimes. But it's just that I don't like to play too many games. Okay, I don't. And I feel like I'm a nice person. But some who don't know me may feel like... I am a <laughs> a bee on wheels, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm 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 cool. I'm relaxed. It's just that I don't take to a lot of people. You get what I'm saying? I don't. I, I sit back and I be like, hmm, okay. Let me let me see what what's going on here. Um, I'm never the type to get numbers will go in my head. I'm not gonna be that way because you know what. This you the way this YouTube platform going on, the way it's going on, nobody ain't gonna have a platform. <laughs> okay? Nobody's not gonna wanna be on here. And it's sad because a lot of people that I used to love and watch, they are already leaving their channels. I mean, I see them on Instagram, I see them on Twitter, but it's like I don't mess with Facebook. I do have a fan page. The real phone Jones or phone Jones. I do have a fan page, but I don't I'll be on there half, you know, whenever I can. I just don't like Facebook. I really don't. But I'm on Twitter all the time and I'm on Instagram all the time. So, and I just like different, you know, I like stuff, I like different things, you know. So, I just wanted to come and have a little chit chat with you guys and just to tell you always remain who you are. You know, don't let somebody else drive your car, meaning you own a car, you, you driving it, you know, you turn down the roads you want to turn down. Don't let somebody else get up in your seat and drive you <laughs> down the road to destruction. Okay? Because that's the that's where they're going. You don't do that. You got to swerve on them. But like, nah, son. This is not how. I'm. Oh, God. I'm talking mad New York right now. <laughs> that's what happens when you're on the phone and you talk to your people from New York. I, I got to stop that. Well, it's part of me. But I know you guys don't hear it a lot. But anyway. You have to go a different direction. Let If they want to go down the road to destruction, let them go. But you go in a different direction. You know, always, you 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 are the owner of that car. You drive that car where you want it to go. What destination you are headed for. You know, so I just want to come in and say, guys, you know, we moving into another year. Some things that happened to us in 2019, you know, just pray on it. Leave it behind and move forward. 2019 wasn't my best year. I'm going to say that right now. It wasn't my best year. I went through a lot. I almost lost a lot. Oh, I almost lost it all. We, as a family, we almost lost a lot of stuff. We almost lost it. But you know what? We made it through. We made it through that bump. We got over the hill. And we just going straight. It's going to be some twists and turns along the way, but we know what we got to do to get there. So just, you know, buckle down, make a plan for yourself. What do you want to do different in 2020 that you are not doing now? You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that I would like to do. You know, I want to do my podcast more because I love true crime. I love talking about different issues, you know. So I just love my podcast. I, I just want to just do that more. And probably over the weekend and while the kids be on break, I'm probably going to add more um, episodes to it. So if anyone is interested, it's, it's going to be the link in the description box. And it's on Anchor. And if you have like um, Apple, uh, what is that? I don't know what y'all call it. Apple, um, the pla Apple platform is on there. Um, it's on a different lot of platforms. It's called my podcast is just another girl from BK from Brooklyn. So you'll see me. You'll you'll hear about me. But 
I'll leave the description inside of, I mean, I'll leave my link in the description box. But I just want to tell you guys, have a great day. Have a lovely weekend. You know, um, and just always remain who you are. Be you. Be 100. Be real. Because that's who, what everybody want to see. They didn't pay to see a side show. They, they want to see you. Be the real you. And always remember, my uncles always taught me this. Your word is your bond. Your word is your bond. If I don't have your word, we don't have a bond. And I'm out.